Hmm. So I just had a friend of mine call me and asked him how he's doing. And this is a guy is like really positive. He's a really positive dude. And he just went like, oh man, you know, I'm not, I'm not really well right now. Things are pretty bad. I mean, I'm pretty in bad mood. And I asked him why. And he told me that uh, he has this ex-girlfriend from a couple of months ago and they're still dating. Uh, it's like she, they're still together, but they know, you know, it's not supposed to be anymore. Um, so I told him basically it's his ex-girlfriend. He just didn't break up with her yet. Um, and she, you know, this guy is amazing. I mean, he's, he's a beast in terms of uh, his dreams and charisma and uh, positiveness and uh, going after his uh, passion of becoming a filmmaker. And he's, he's like... Oh man, you know, we went to dance salsa and she told me that I'm not supposed to to have uh, any girl sit on my lap. And mind you, this guy has like girls on his lap every day when he's going to salsa. And it's the most, of, he's like the friendliest guy. It's nothing sexual. And she said she knows it. So he's like, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, she's one girl did sit on my lap, even though she, you know, my ex-girlfriend told me not to. And um, and then uh, she said I can't change, and now she's angry at me, and that pisses me off because she's like that, and she's like they basically just got into this blame fit, like angry, like really damn stupid place. And I asked him, look, um, what is your dream? What is your goal in life? And he said, oh, to become a famous filmmaker. And then I asked him, okay, and how long do you think that's going to take? So he said, well, at least 25 years. And because he wants to be, you know, like the next uh, James Cameron. At least 25 years. Okay, and what do you think your odds are of getting there? And he said, very high. So I corrected him. I said, well, that's, you know, <laughs> there's tens of thousands of people who, want, who have the exact same desire as you. And they're not famous uh, filmmakers, as evident by the fact that there's only like 20, 30 really famous directors. So no, <laughs> your chances are pretty low. If you put in a whole lot of effort, uh, work smart and are lucky, then you might, you might get there. So now that he got that, um, the next thing I asked him was, you know, how does it feel uh, with me as your friend? Um, and we've known each other, other for about 10 months. How do you feel every time you talk to me? And he says, oh, amazing. Wow, like you elevate me, you help me feel better. You make me, I feel smarter after talking to you. And I'm, I was like, okay, yeah, that's awesome. Again, I'm a guy that serves people. That's, you know, that's my passion, that's my purpose, but Let's ask, okay, maybe somebody who's like a good friend. How do they make you feel? He's like, oh, they almost always make me feel better, make me feel happy, make me feel energized. It's really good. It's really good. So I said, okay. And um, did they ever, maybe him, they or me, ever make you feel bad? Like, make you feel confused, angry, unmot unmotivated? You know any type of emotion that you would consider like bad and he says well no uh, except for when I'm fucking up you know and I'm not doing what I should do and then they make me feel bad but only to make me feel better later which shows a perfect description of a good friend <laughs> so then I asked him about this girl um, okay so this girl when you met each other, when you just first met, how, how was it? Like, was it like it's now? <laughs> She's like, no, it's, uh, it was amazing. It was beautiful. She was super supportive. I felt energized after meeting her, just like I feel af after meeting you, except instead of getting smarter, I feel like I just get more happier. Which, again, perfect description of a new relationship uh, that has a good potential for your for being awesome so at some point it changed and they stopped being like that 
it stopped being something that you know always is positive and it started getting negative and it gets worse and worse and worse so I, I called him like two days ago you know this was we were, we were currently talking but two days ago I, I called him and he didn't answer and I, I told him how would you feel if like you would call right now and I would tell you like why didn't you answer the phone <laughs> Why why didn't you why did you screen me? You know, what the fuck dude? Why are you not answering my calls? Or maybe if I sent sent him a message before the call like, you know, don't bother uh, If you don't if you're not I'm not good enough. So you talk to me <laughs> Then you know why would it talk to you now? <laughs> so it's like all this bitchy behavior um, and that's how she's acting and when a relationship deteriorates like that you have like one or two cho- one or two opportunities to stop it to say hey this is not right stop it now if you don't we're going to break up but um he didn't uh which happens and the relationship deteriorated and the biggest um realization was when i told him it's your fault Cause you call me and you're like oh she did this and this and she's like that and he's right like on that low blame level of thinking he is right but it's not about being uh smart it's not about being uh you know right it's about being smart so he's right on that level but he's wrong because it's his his fault and he said why he said it's your fault for not breaking up with her when it got bad it's your fault for letting somebody who's slowing you down be in your life because once the relationship changes once the dynamic shifts from fun uh, supportive happy rational to this (laughs) it's uh, it's beyond repair you can never repair it and people people are really really sad when I say this to them but when that happens it's done Uh, you're not gonna be able to repair it anymore it's dead basically the relationship is dead you should just let it go and um, break up that's the smartest thing you can do so most people uh, they don't do it they don't break up they don't finish the relationship and I call it basically dragging around a corpse so they're dragging around this corpse of this person, what he used to be, or she used to be. And every time the corpse kind of uh, does these small movements, you know, like you kill a bug and the leg just kind of moves a bit. So every time the corpse does like, it's like, oh, it's alive. Oh my God, it's alive. I think it's alive again. And every time it, the corpse stinks a bit more and you stink a bit more, because you're carrying it and it gets really bad now the problem runs even deeper because I told him look uh, you're talking to me now and I have my goals in order my priorities my focus and you're calling me and instead of us talking business you know talking how we can improve each other's lives how to get to our goals you know even just having fun you know shooting the shit just laughing here we are and you be- turn me into a confused person you lower me to confusion to confusion because now i'm like oh you know i mean yeah that bitch yeah you know she she is dumb oh it's her fault blah 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 and then when somebody oh books uh, when somebody stiffs me and for example a client doesn't pay when he said he should pay he would pay um I'll, I'll ask myself, oh, who's uh, my favorite blamer, my favorite bitch? And <laughs> it would be him. So I'd call him now and I'd be like, oh, you know what happened to me? A client didn't pay. And he said he would pay and he should pay, but he didn't, even though he said he should. How could he not pay? You know, it's, it's his fault. How can he be like that? And, and instead of him being like, hey, dude, wake the fuck up you need more than one client you need five you know why does one client even matter get more 
he'll be like, oh yeah, you know, oh my God, yeah, that's so true. It's exactly like what happened to me and my problems. And there, there you have it, like <laughs> two people got fucked up because one guy didn't do it right. And, um, and it's, a, it's a deterring decision because he had to film a project later and he could have spent that time strategizing, but he was busy talking to me because he felt like shit. And we're supposed to talk about something cool to talk about something that will improve both of our lives. And then he could have strategized, so it hurt the projects. And basically, the more successful you become, the higher you go, the more um, you have to be aware of your time and your emotional well being. So, this isn't to teach you everything I know about managing relationships, you know, who to let in your life, who not, but. It, 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 the, the main part about that is again anybody that lifts you up is good keep him anybody that is neutral I wouldn't fight for him but I also wouldn't delete him just because of that and anybody that makes you feel bad either quickly find a way to correct it but if you can't then you probably won't be able to by the way it's it's almost a, a 100% chance that you won't be able to but you know, just for the sake of argument, try. But again, uh, if the test is that every time you talk to this person, you feel the same or better, the odds of somebody neg- who's negative in your life turning into a positive or a neutral is it's almost zero. Because <laughs> these people usually make everybody feel bad or, or the relationship, the standards got so bad that they just they just can't not behave like bitches anymore to you they can't respect your time and your feelings anymore uh, because they care more about how they feel Um, so yeah just make sure to keep keep these people out and the main point here is not how to um, you know fix it or take care of it it's that you need to these people need to leave (laughs) you basically need to take responsibility for your actions or lack of them realize it's your fault and cut that relationship as quickly as possible because you'll never ever uh, get to your goals you'll never ever you know reach your targets and be where you want to be if you let people like this into your life it's too much weight even if you don't have weight even if you're fully optimal just bam just running forward you still have a good chance of not hitting your goals in life if they're really really big But if you have these things holding you back and confusing you and stopping you and and making you doubt yourself, you you can never be successful because you have to keep pushing forward in a certain direction, in certain direction. And you can't do that when you have somebody making you second guess yourself every time. You can't have people who are not thinking up and up and more and growth and better and just thinking like, no, this isn't fine. This is not okay. And judging and criticizing and lowering and depressing and demeaning and suppressing it's impossible so cut these people off and immediately like that's my biggest hack for making your life better like 10 times in a day <laughs> so yeah do that and your life will be much better and let me know if you have a problem like this in the comments and if you need personal help I do coaching so let me know Please subscribe if you haven't and more videos coming up in the following hours probably. (laughs) See you soon.